I'm glad that I've started singing again. So this is like my break-in performance tonight. Since it will be regular now when we get to the U.S. tour, it's, you know, city after city, so every weekend I'll be singing. But I'm very happy. Whenever I'm with Regine, I'm really happy. She's such a lovable, adorable person, and a loving person, and a generous co-performer. She takes care of me. I tell her, just bring out your regime, regime voice. And she says she, oh, she'll have chances to do that in the show. But she likes our blending when we're both soft, so that's so touching. feeling okay, I'm not 100%. And I haven't sung in two years and eight months. Also, as you age, like we said before in the press con, it gets a bit, you have to exert a bit more effort to reach your high notes. Um, Raj also said that, that she goes through the same, all of us singers, I think. So it's, it's a bit of an adjustment for me now, surprisingly, shockingly. <laughs> Regarding blocking, so we'll work on that tomorrow. Yung the latter part la, we to speed through that. Uh, yeah. We to speed through that last part. But yeah. so you know that the you know that the template. Um, yeah. After I think I think we can do that task.
here. If anybody else, you know, is invited to sing with Sharon and Regine, they will jump, you know, for the opportunity. But this one, because since they call me Tita Pilita, can you sing with me? So, you know, it's so much, much better, more wonderful. But for me, it's a great honor and a pleasure to sing with them. It's really, because, you know, I cannot sing like them. I can only bend left and right. <laughs> but it's wonderful. I'm so happy to be a part of this show. I really just came back from the States for this because I, I had already said yes. Imagine now I'm even younger than them. So what, what more do you want me to say? <laughs> no, it's really a pleasure, really a pleasure. And it's a first. Well, because you know, yeah, you're always doing shows, but not with, not with Regina Charo. This is special. This is really something that, you know, should be done every day. <laughs> and I'm sure people would expect, you know, uh, uh, from them more from Sharon and Regine, because you know, from me, they will expect that I will still do my bending and I will still show my legs, but I can, uh, but I will also sing for them. <laughs> This makes so much sense, Nana. Okay. This is get the last rest. time it's like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Oh, get some. No more talking. Okay. When you take that thing... Just stop talking to me! <laughs> <laughs> Remember when... You're telling me no more talking. Why are you talking to me? Remember when you take the medicine, no more talking, huh? Mm -hmm. And no more crying. I love you. No more crying. Oh, something is in Inai, how do you feel after the final tech rehearsal? Always great with Reg. Very tired. <laughs> very tired. <laughs> very tired. Very tired. But very happy. Thank you, 
Lord, your faith in us, your love for us. This is also one of the best uh, and one of the most loving ever concerts I've ever been part of. It's a dream come true also to do this again with Regine. Much more so now than it was the first time because we love each other more now. First concert after the pandemic. So this Welcome back. Let's, yeah. Welcome, Welcome back. back. So I'm really excited to be on stage and what a nice comeback that um, I get to do a comeback in the concert scene with a dear, dear, dear friend whom I love very much and who I'm very comfortable with. So that's a blessing in itself. Very happy. We're like sisters playing on stage. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the best way to describe it. Para kami we're just enjoying the stage because it's what we do. We like to sing, but para we're playing, para kids playing. I love her, and she. I've learned so much from her. May iyak ako, wag na.
Ang hirap in the beginning. I hope tomorrow it's this open. Masaya masaya ako kasi pag nakikita ko silang dalawa, maraming alaala ang nanunumbalik uh, sa aking isipan at damdamin. Kasi lahat ng mga pelikulang na kinakanta nila yung theme song, Punong-puno yun ng kulay sa mga buhay namin. Parte sila ng buhay ko. Itong dalawang legend alamat na ito. Lalo na nung nagsuot sila ng mga memorable sa pelikula namin. Katulad ni Ma'am, yung suot niyang pula. Kanina nung lumabas siya, talagang flashback ako ng maging sino ka man talaga. Yun yung suot. Tapos si Regine naman, yung suot niya, hindi nga lang puti. Pero sa kailangan ko ikaw, ganun na ganun yung suot niya nung naghali kang kami ng tatlong minuto. <laughs> it's like we never said goodbye. Alam mo yon it's like the feeling is good, the feeling is fresh. And it's always a nice time to perform again with Sharon and Regine. Again, and again, and again, and again. Nag-enjoy ka Super duper enjoy, wala talagang kakakuan. Bakit ang hirap ng microphone dito? Sobrang saya ang the best. Parang maiiyak ako. Ano na lang favorite part niya? Unti-unting, mararating. Hindi, pag nagdo-duet sila talaga. Ako din. Yung pa-blending. Tsaka yung mga santa nila. Mga mashup. Yeah, the mashup. Ako yung Moira. Ay, Moira! Yung din! Hindi ako araw gabi. Yun kasi yung favorite ko talaga. Tsaka, nung nag-ano, kasama ni Lisa, Ma'am Pilita. Yes! Galing lang talaga kasi nag-gets mo yung iconic na. Iconic to the highest level. Agree. Yun na lang nasabi ko. Tsaka alat na suot nila. Parang gusto kong manahin. Oo. Tsaka yung buhok nila. Parang gusto kong gano'n yung buhok. Parang gano'n naman yung buhok. What? Tsaka maganda yung ka. Maganda yung araw gabi. Ayaw hilab di kayo walay panty. Ha? Tsaka ikaw. Iba. 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 Siyempre, diba lahat ng mga, mga songs yun yung pinalaki na natin. Correct. 
Yes. Meron po ba kayong message kay Miss Sharon, kay, uh, kay Ate Regine? Na gusto sabihin? Yes, yes. si Mel na. Si Mel na. Ako lang una. Uh, Ma'am si Reg and Ma'am si Mega, congratulations. The best first concert sa pandemic. Kayo agad ang pinanood. The best. Gusto na namin ma-promote every one. The best. But my 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 is here lang so that pagkaalam ko magaalam. I because love. Even if you don't have a mic, your volume is pang araneta. You have your own equalizer. Hindi para lang your equalizer is built into your baga. Hindi para alam mo lang na nandun ako kumakanta ako kasi kabosses para alam ko lang na nandun. Oh oh para alam mo lang. Sino support kita? Sobrang supportive. Kaya ito sa kamera. Sampai jumpa. Ikan di normal. Si, she's vlogging tu, and I'm vlogging. We're like vlogging. We're vlogging the vlogger. Vlogging hantar. Can you video their outfits, please? And in just just down. Every detail. The jewelry. The jewelry. Oh my goodness. Very beautiful, right? Pinahirap ko. Ayoko lang yung tisha ko mihinan. Grabe. Emily, will you have ba yan? Hulog, oh. Naku. Kasi sabi ko, Sorry, ano eh. Kahit kumanta ako araw-araw, hindi ko mabibili. Ano yan? Sa tagay ko hindi nag-concert, nalimot ko. Hindi pwedeng busog bago mag-concert. Ah, kaya ba nakapasok? Kain ako ng kain. Ang gabi. Kaya pagpasok mo? Ay, nakalimutan ko. Pero ang natuto ako kay Nanya, may valda sa bibig habang kumakanta. Kinatago niya. How do you feel that after the pandemic, bigla na lang may tao, people cheering? Daming tao. Too surreal for me. Parang, tsaka, parang where's the energy? I want to see it again. Kasi we didn't have it for so long, di ba? Because we get our energy as performers from our audience. Tapos, ang dilim eh, hindi ko makita masyado. Hindi, pero ano din sila kasi they just, they were just listening talaga. Oo, tsaka nakaka, it was also so, nakakapanibago everyone was wearing a mask. Siguro for them, kaya hindi sila mapaniyaw. Oo, tapos tayo, pero they were still reacting naman masaya. Pero sa likod, kasi ate, yung dulo doon, malayo na yun, hindi natin nadidinig, doon sila. Ay, yun, hindi ko narinig talaga. Boses ko, hindi ko marinig eh. Doon sa malayo, sigaw pala sila. Kasi may mga video eh. Ay, ang cute! And they're singing, they're singing with us. Nakita ko sa Twitter. Ang galing. Ang local teacher natin. Ang wala ako sa mood ngayon, pasensya na dahil. Sabi niya, galingan nila. Sabi ko nga, nansan si Judy, naku dala na restaurant. Sabi ko, I love you, sis. Ano ka, voice teacher to? Voice teacher to? Hi, mother. Hi, mother. Don't tell no, si mother. Amo man, grabe. Enjoy ka, mother. Instructor na yun mo, Miss Judy Ann. Um, depende. Ano ba yung hindi niya kaya? Yung alone. Yung bababa. If you can ask, if you feel mo, mag-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a
perspective <laughs> and the original songwriter also. <laughs> It's just like a scene in a movie or a musical where we were singing it. Ask her, yeah, ask Frankie. I was beside her, I was just eating a lollipop. I'm <laughs> saying, wow, oh, cute. I'm hoping no cameras taking me. Now the lollipop was just, I've never heard anybody sing it that way. It was so beautiful. But I wanted to sing this in a different, different way. In a way it's never been sung before. Because it's actually a very painful song. So I wanted to do it as if I'm telling a story. Parang kahapon na nangyari, tapos kinanta ko ngayon. It's funny that she she mentioned that she when she before she sang she said I'm gonna sing this um, like it's never been sung before and I started thinking about it talaga na parang wow I've never actually heard this song this song like this na super emotional just focusing on just focusing on the emotion of the song and super quiet super like very light but heavy at the same time. It was a last minute addition to the to the set list as in super last minute like the day before um, the show I think and at first I was kind of unsure because you know for the past how many weeks I was studying the rep and then all of a sudden there's a Gary V song uh, out of nowhere and then they asked me pang what I thought about you know her doing that song I said baka conflict of interest if I'm the one who pushes for for this song to be in the set list but I said oh Tita if you want to do it then that's fine Never, nobody said the dance. Never mind. I both wondered why. Well, everyone wants it because it's because a really think, nice song to make in grand. Yeah. But no, I said, but what if I do it quietly? And I talk to Louis. Let's do it. Let's just remove Kahit Maputin and Boko. Let's do this. I always do Kahit Maputin and Boko. Then it read sang it. So let me sing it. Mm. And the thing is, I think only you could have done justice to it. Because you know what the song is about. And yes. It wasn't drama. It was real. So, Tito Louie and I, actually, we were texting privately and I was already re we were ready to fight for Kahit Maputi because we wanted her to do a Sharon, uh, a Sharon song uh, or a, Char a song that Tita Sharon released. And then when they rehearsed it um, here na in the venue, everyone was just quiet. And then I was like, okay, parang, parang this works. <laughs> And it, I, I was so, it was so emotional that my parents were here, the, the singer and the writer of the song. And then while she was doing it, I was just so proud, you know. So like, wow, it's so nice to see her. Like, like, and the idea pa is hers, the ba? Parang just, it was such a, it was such a nice um, number. And I felt like, yun nga, it was, it was sung in a way that was not, you know, Tita Regine. It was not. A Gary V version, so very refreshing for me to hear it sung like that. Mm. 
Second night was, was they they knew what they had to do. Um, they followed the direction. <laughs> I know. I'm like, wow, the artists don't always obey me, but tonight they they followed me. So <laughs> it was such a special special feeling. Like we were all so emotional in the the headsets and. I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be part of this. I'm just really happy that it's finished because um, everybody that we rehearsed with the band, Sila Regine, they all know that Kanina during band rehearsal, my I couldn't hit my high notes. Sound check pala because I think nagulat yung vocal cords ko for the first time. Uh, you know, it was the first time I did a full length concert last night. So parang nabanat. It was a good thing at the same time a bad thing kasi na nabigla. So kanina I was so scared. And of course Regine always the ultimate encourager. <laughs> Gave me all the encouragement and inspiration and strength I needed. Then we prayed, our husbands prayed for us, our friends prayed for us. So everything went well. Praise God. Aside from a few Sublice, it was perfect. Sublice on my side, <laughs> but it was perfect. And I'm so excited that I, I can rest for one day before I go back to work and then go to the States. Go back to work in Ilocos and then have a day of rest before going to the States. Working, working. After that, I will hibernate and try to get healthy and sleep as much as I want. <laughs> 